radiation is a known cause of my type of cancer. Most people never know what caused their cancer. I'd like to find out. This blood sample might tell me. The avoidable radiation exposures, which people should be concerned about, are overwhelmingly medical exposures. I did have repeated x-rays when I was a child. Medical treatments used too much radiation before they found out how dangerous it was. People are still suffering because of it. I have restrictive and constrictive heart failure because of the massive amounts of radiation I received when I was an infant. Some people are still getting a lot more radiation than I had, hundreds of times more. They told me that we could have a full body CT scan, which would be from neck to mid-thigh. We didn't discuss radiation, no. Three or four hundred chest x-rays, that's pretty significant. Radiation is not the only carcinogen out there. I mean, there's a high probability that we're going to get cancer in the first place. We know there are radiation risks involved, but we don't know whether the benefits are going to outweigh those risks. Could medical x-rays meant to help me have caused my thyroid cancer? Anything that I found out in the first week or so was all from my investigating, my, my own research. Thyroid cancer rates are rising dramatically and three times more in women than men. Children are also at greater risk. I got thyroid cancer at a much younger age than most people. I've learned that all the causes aren't known, but radiation is one of the most common. The only radiation I've had has been from medical x-rays. David Brenner is an expert in radiation biology at Columbia University in New York. He studies the risk from exposure to x-rays. My own view is that all radiation, ionizing radiation, will increase your cancer risk and it simply depends on the dose. If the dose is very small, the increase in risk would be very small. All medical diagnosis is to do with risks and benefits. There are quite a few populations who were exposed in the 1950s and 60s to uh, radiation in situations which to us now appear bizarre, I think would be uh, a good, good phrase. I remember as a kid having my uh, feet exposed to radiation in a, in a shoe store. But you have to recall that people had a different understanding of what the risks of radiation were in, in 1950 compared with what we know now. In the past, medical treatments used too much radiation before they found out how dangerous it was. People are still suffering because of it. In the late 40s, doctors thought sudden infant death could be avoided by a high dose of radiation to the infant's thymus gland, which is attached to the heart and the thyroid gland. That risk could be increased again if that child was genetically uh, sensitive. Some people are much more sensitive to getting cancer from radiation exposure than other people. Scientists have found some of the genes that cause this. This is an area that's really just starting to open up, and I don't think we know by any means the number of genes that are involved in radiation sensitivity. And the BRCA gene, which is uh, well known in, in the field of breast cancer, is conferring increased risk of breast and ovarian cancer, now believed to also give increased sensitivity to radiation-induced breast cancer. At that level, you are certainly getting a dose which you can see from the A-bomb survivors at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But how can you avoid these risks if no one tells you about them in the first place? No one told Joanne one CT scan can be the equivalent of three or four hundred chest x-rays. Three or four hundred chest x-rays, that's pretty significant. I would have given it some more thought. Definitely. Is that what it is? I'm surprised to hear that. Yeah, I would have given it some more thought.
People who get CT scans on their own aren't told how much radiation they're getting, but neither is anyone else. Studies have shown that even doctors don't know how much radiation patients get from standard procedures. Doug Borum thinks very small amounts of radiation may turn on the immune system and might eventually be used to prevent diseases like cancer. But David Brenner has shown that larger amounts, like multiple CT scans, have been proven to cause cancer. And even small amounts like the x-rays I had could have caused damage in a child who was genetically sensitive. So what should people do? I guess the only thing I would say is, uh, if the person is genetically at risk from getting a disease like cancer, from being exposed to too many CT scans, then their whole system is already compromised. And radiation probably won't play a role in that. That's my opinion on that. You cannot explain away the sharply escalating incidence of cancer on anything else other than avoidable exposures to carcinogens in the totality of our environment. So it's wise to avoid exposure to any agent that induces cancer and not to try to be clever and say, oh well, a little bit is harmless. I would suggest that women stop having routine mammograms and learn breast self-examination, which can be taught in 20 to 30 minutes or so. Everybody should have a lifetime record of radiation dosage whenever you go in for radiation, whenever you, go, whenever you have an x-ray for any purpose or set of x-rays, you should be given information on what dosage you've received. That should be built into your medical database. If there was an easy test, for example, to say you're, a, you're very sensitive to radiation, um, then you'd probably think twice before having a CT scan, which otherwise you might think about having. I think if you knew from birth that you were sensitive to radiation, it would certainly affect how you went about your health care choices.